Hello everyone, Suzy Gaming here and welcome back to War Thunder. Again, we're back in the dev server and new stuff has been added. Uh, the most important one for the ground players, of course, is the new TAD BFM, BR of 11.0, which is an upgraded version of TADU. So as you can see, I upgraded this tank and repair cost is 4k. Uh, here are the modifications new shells and stuff all right so what's the difference between tadbvm and tadu we're going to check it now first the hull is 100 percent similar but tadbvm received new generation reactive armor protection that even leopard 2a6's top shell cannot pen yeah right here of course if you hit them once they will be destroyed on the next shot uh, everyone can pen you so let's fire from leopard to a6's top shell 500 meters distance you cannot pen uh, at the sides they're not that useful yeah still can pen also this additional armor protects our turret as well but around our barrel and at the bottom of it, uh, there is still exploit that will most of the time one shot your tank. As you know, if you watch my T90 video, 80% of the time I was being single tapped here every time. No matter what's the distance, uh, even Waffen Trigger can pen here and one shot your tank. However, there is another update about mobility of this tank our barrel lift speed increased 10 times uh, compared to the previous tadu and also our turret rotation speed increased two times as well so that's a huge improvement now our turret and gun behavior is similar to the leopard 2a6s and the other nato tanks that was a really big advantage that leopard 2a6 had over reflex fighting because the top tier it's all about reflex it's about how fast you put enemy at your site all the previous tanks were losing in that category including the brand new t98 or of course our turret is worse than the t90a uh, but our hull definitely much much better at least frontal part of the hull. Is this an improvement for Russians? I say yes. They definitely got a tank that they needed and they deserved. It also has second generation of thermal vision. But however, to really finish off the Leopard 2A6's dominance, you need to add Armada. And then Russian bias will surpass the NATO tanks. That's for sure. Also, they added new shells to all of these four tanks here. This new dart round will receive 100 millimeters more penetration. Uh, which is a colossal improvement for the Russian top tiers. So instead of 480 pen, they're gonna have 580. However, they cannot pen the frontal face mask of the Leopard 2A6. The shell mass is the same. So that means the damage that this dart round makes inside the enemy tank will be the same as well. The one-shotting Leopards still will be hard. So what I can recommend for the new T80 players, hide this area much as possible put bush decorations around the barrel and especially on the driver's edge so the enemy cannot identify you i guess when we're gonna play as this tank most of the players are just gonna shoot at the around the barrel area that's where we're gonna die from now if you're owner of big bush pack i think you're gonna be able to hide your tank's identity much more successfully so the other NATO tanks will have a hard time identifying your tank. But yeah, our driver set will be still exposed. That's where NATO tanks shoot 70% of the time. Here we go. That's an improvement. Yeah, please don't fire <laughs> at the gas mask. Yeah, I cannot hide it any better than that. I highly doubt that uh, we're gonna survive any longer than the previous T versions because yeah, the amount of crew always determines the survivability of the tank at the top tier battles. But yeah, now we have a much more maneuverable T80, I guess. Look how agile the turret is and the barrel lift speed. Holy shit, almost feels like a leopard.
That's a T90. Here are the other updates and also the new Drowned City map. It's only available to the Coastal Fleet. You can pause your screen to read. So you guys tell me in the comment section what do you think about this new stuff but I'm gonna see you next time, peace out.